Hi, so let's take a look at the Arnold License Manager. It's new in Arnold 6, and basically what this means is that you don't have to use environment variables anymore to configure a workstation or a render node to connect to the license server. Uh, there's a UI for it now. The user interface is the Arnold License Manager, and whatever you set up in the Arnold License Manager is, event is written out into a config file json format config file that looks like this and arnold will read this config file when it needs to get a license so when you render a frame arnold's going to read this config file and then connect to the specified license server or you know or the licensing service if it's a single user license so it's pretty simple in terms of you know it's like so many other way things are done in other Autodesk applications. You want to connect to a license server, you have to provide a name and a port. So, you know, we can add, I could add localhost here too. I can, with or without the at symbol, and it's going to add it. So it's going to display, verify the license and say how many there are. Um, you know, I can remove them. And see when I remove the last one, the Arnold License Manager is aware that there is a cache on the system for FlexLM and it's going to check what value is currently stored. So using this License Manager would tell me, okay, if I render now, it would still get a license because it's going to read a valid uh, license server specification from the cache value. Uh, so the License Manager, again, no environment variables. It's all done in the UI and then written to a config file. And in this license manager, I can switch between different licensing types. RLM, which is the legacy or the type that Autodesk Arnold used before it was acquired by Autodesk. Or single user licensing, uh, which is new to Arnold and <clears throat> in the Arnold 6 release. So uh, I've already set it all up, but if I hadn't installed the single, single user licensing components, the license manager would have detected that and asked me if I wanted to install them. So it would have done that for me. And then, but at this point, all I have to do is sign in and I can use my single user license. Or I could switch back to network licensing. Um, I could even actually use multiple license types. Like I could use, these two are both multi-user network licensing type, but not that, sorry. This one, RLM and network. So I could use some combination of licenses off these two license servers if I wanted. And again, this is all stored in a config file, which has been updated as been moving things around. And so I'm just going to close this. So you might be wondering what happens if the environment's variables are set and on for a number of users, they will be. So let me set one and we'll see what happens. Well, I know what happens, but if, well, actually I just say it while I'm typing. If the environment variables are set, then they take precedence and Arnold will use them to locate the license server. And this is gonna be reflected in the, user, in the UI when I start the license manager back up. See, it sees that these environment variables are set. So it's saying, well, okay, you can't edit them, the connection information anymore in this user, user interface. Arnold is just going to use the uh, environment variables, like in the old days. Uh, and there's one other aspect, that this part here, where I configure different license types and the order by dragging tiles. That too is controlled by an environment variable. So if I was to actually set that environment variable too, then I wouldn't be able to use the user interface anymore. Though it's, you won't have, and set it to user for single user licensing. People won't, I mean, people won't have this set on their system. It's a pretty rare user that would actually be controlling the order. So now that that's set, I can't switch to another licensing type. I can only use the user types, the single user type that was specified by the licensing, uh, that environment variable. Read the message, yeah. Arnold license order is set. So that's what's being used, not the, uh, Arnold License Manager, and then in the end, not the config file. So that's it, a quick inter quick technical overview of the Arnold License Manager. Um, 
So the new way of doing it, you can use a UI, no environment variables, a config file. And that's how it's going to work going forward from Arnold 6 and later.